In this video, we will understand the converse of midpoint theorem. The theorem states that if a line is drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle and parallel to the other side, then it bisects the third side. Consider a triangle ABC such that P is the midpoint of side BC. A segment from midpoint P is extended such that it is parallel to side AC and intersects at point Q on side AB. We need to prove that Q is the midpoint of side AB that is length of segment BQ is equal to length of segment QA. To prove this, we need to draw a line parallel to side BC from point A. Extend segment PQ till it meets point R on the constructed parallel line, resulting in the formation of triangle RQA. As segment PQ is parallel to side CA, and we know that segments of parallel lines are parallel, therefore segment PR is also parallel to side CA. By construction, segment PC is also parallel to segment RA. Since opposite sides of quadrilateral PRAC are parallel, therefore quadrilateral PRAC is a parallelogram. By geometrical property of a parallelogram, that is, opposite sides of parallelogram are equal, side PC is equal to side RA. Since segment PB is equal to segment PC, as P is the midpoint, so from above equation we conclude segment PB is equal to segment RA. Now in triangle PBQ and triangle AQR, angle PQB is equal to angle RQA as vertically opposite angles are equal. Also angle PBQ is equal to angle RAQ as interior opposite angles are equal. Therefore by SAA rule, triangle PBQ is congruent to triangle AQR. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude segment BQ is equal to segment QA. Hence, point Q is proved as the midpoint of site AB. This was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.